Hello everybody and welcome back to this Planet Zoo video where today we are going to be building an aviary. Now Planet Zoo unfortunately hasn't currently got an in-game aviary or any birds. And with a new game that's just been released which is in alpha stage called Prehistoric Kingdom, you've probably heard of it, this game does have aviaries. But unfortunately I will not be playing Prehistoric Kingdom in the alpha stage, although I will be playing in the beta stage, so stay tuned on the channel for that. But it gave me an idea, if we don't have aviaries in Planet Zoo, I'm going to create my own aviary in Planet Zoo. Now the animals what we're going to put in this aviary are probably going to be maybe the peafowl, or maybe the um, flamingos or something like that. We've got to work with what we've got. And what you're looking at now is going to be pretty much the solid foundation for our aviary. So we've got this piece here which I have created. Uh, quite simple to create. We've got the wood beam here and then the other style of the wood beam here. Another really good piece to utilise in creating pretty much anything because you can recolour them in any colour you want. So we want blue, we can have blue. But we're going to stick with brown and white and we've got these grey rods as well. I want it to look quite modern and quite fresh and quite new. And these rod pieces are also great and you can also recolour these as well. And this at the top is the Planet Zoo bracket I believe. Let's have a quick look. Yep, the Planet Zoo brace bracket. And then we've got a little design here what's actually on based on a plaster piece. And this is going to be a circular aviary. Now if you don't know how to make anything circular like circular buildings or circular paths or circular roofs. I have got a great tutorial on my channel and it will be in the Planet Zoo playlist down below. And it looks something like this. So go check that out if you're unsure still how to actually create circular things in Planet Zoo. Now I'm really excited about this idea and excited to just get stuck in and get creating this. So let's start building. Okay, so that's the actual like structure, so to speak, complete. 
So now we're going to actually put in some barriers and what works best with this, I believe, is the chain link. Let's have a look at the chain link. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. So we're going to select the chain link and we're going to put it all around the inside of these wooden and plaster pieces here. And these beams up top are going to cover the beams, what are um, custom uh, make, what, not custom made, sorry, will actually come with the prefab of the habitat um, gate. So, using chain link and set it to four meters because I think these plaster pieces are around four meters apart. And we want to hide this because it's going to be quite tricky, but trust me on this one, once it's done, it is going to look quite good so again we want to make sure we're going around and carefully placing this gate in and covering the end pieces with the rod pieces what we've already built and what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way around and once we've done so i'll catch back up with you then so all the way around has been done and I am going to go around and touch it up just to make sure everything is in place where we want it and everything's hidden where we want it. I also need to cover this gap, don't know how I missed it, I just must have not seen this gap here. I covered the other side gap here and what we need to do now is actually raise it. So let's raise it up to the next rod piece which is the perfect. So now, yeah, I've just got to cover that gap up. I've also got to put the in, in the actual habitat gate and we need to put it on. Where shall we put it? Hmm. It's got to be on a flat piece, right? Let's put it at the back somewhere here. Yeah, let's put it right here. So we line it up. place that down there that's overlapping a bit but it's nothing to worry about and then we're going to just delete this piece here so delete that delete that delete that delete that and delete that like so so yep yeah, now i'm just going to touch up a few things um, add some little bit of details and once i've done that i will show you what i've changed and what i've added right so we've made a little bit of progress so what i decided to do was obviously as you can see i've added the path all the way around um attaching to the habitat gate so our zookeepers can actually get in um and then i've decided to add these raw bits um, i think it looked all like two one way and all too simple with rope just going from here to the middle so i actually added these ones across and then added a little bit of detail with these um cluster of ropes here again just giving it that more realistic feel really and then i added these metal poles um, going with the same theme as the metal rods down the side all the way to the middle and then this um, metal uh, ball kind of thing this is just out of the shapes um, and we're going to construction here then we go here just delete that and then it is one of these ones here so it's just a simple shape and I recolored it to match the um, the color of the actual rods. So it, again, trying to keep it realistic. It looks metal, um, the same with how the rods look. And I added these brackets again on each one, giving it again that more realistic feel. I know I keep saying re realistic, but these little details and taking your time on things and, and having a step back and looking at it really makes a difference within planet zoo and um, i hope you lot also think adding little details and concentrating on the build and looking at little things you can change also improves the build um so yeah tell me, go in the comment section now and tell me what you think of this Everett so far is it something you are going to put in your own zoo because this build is going to be put on my workshop page the link will be down in the description you can download it and use it in your own zoos if you wish to but now we've got to get to probably the most interesting and fun part and that's creating the inside of the actual habitat and then deciding which animal we want to throw in here so yeah i'll catch you in a little bit 
And just like that, simply the inside of the habitat is now complete. So let's have a look what we have added. So if you could not guess already by this little statue on top of this rock work here, we are going to be doing the Indian peafowl. Um, I just think it suits, there's enough space for them, and I just think it really goes with having an aviary. So first I want to take you over to what I've included here. So this is a simple rock, and this is part of that, actually, the aquatic pack. Um, and what I've done here is this is an enrichment item, and this is the water enrichment item. Um, and I've just buried it into the rock, created a little pipe, put the stone around to make it look more um, like combined with this rock. So it's not just the water um, for the animals just placed down. The little food tray is underneath here. Obviously the little statue, I love this statue. I love how long the, um, the tail is. And then over here, I've got a cherry blossom tree and we've got a little hut. And they do actually go up here as well and they can actually sleep in here. And then we've got some food enrichment items and stuff like that. And a bit of long grass for them and a couple of rocks. And that's basically everything. I wanted to keep it nice and simple. I didn't want to overcrowd it with stuff because it is a small habitat after all. Now, if I zoom out... You could see I added some stuff to the outside as well. So we added all these plants and all these um, planters around the edge, as well as the education board and speaker. Of course, can't forget about education. So let's go ahead and get our lovely Indian peafowls in here. And there's one peafowl in. We did actually decide to put two peafowls in, but one of them got an injury. So unfortunately, he is back at the vets <laughs> to repair his injuries, bless him. So we've got one male, one female. Uh, they've got enough room. They've got everything they need. They've got the water. They can use this. They can go in the hut because I've seen them go in the hut. And yeah, that is pretty much the video. If you want this habitat in your zoo, link in description my workshop link there's probably some other stuff on there you might be interested in if you don't already follow my stuff what i build uh, my name's adam if you like this video smash that like button subscribe if you're new around here i hope you have a wonderful day and i will catch you in the next one